let me show you guys how to apply light flay in any of your design so for those of you who are telling me that it's light flame it is not light flame it's light flame Edro, it is light flay before you go and ask google something else and it's <laughs> what can i say a light flame um so assuming allegedly i didn't design this assuming this is your design so you want to apply a light flay so for those of you who don't know how to get it i'll show you how to get it and how to apply it because if i show you how to get it without showing you how to apply it some of you will still come hey bros how do we apply this to our design after getting it some of you your questions can be funny anyway so um basically head up to pinterest if you head up to pinterest um you can go to pinterest and um search on any of your browser but i use chrome chrome is always faster it's not an ad now if you go to um um pinterest you can search light light flea this is the correct spelling not light flame my able brothers not light flame you understand now click enter on your keyboard after typing your light flame after typing your light flame flame so these are light flames right now do not pick any light flame and apply on your design choose wisely don't go to the market and start selecting anything because you have money choose wisely spend wisely all right now what you're going to do is look at your design right look at your design to choose the pattern of light flay you want to apply to your design let me come again look at your design look at the position you want to apply your light flay before selecting a light flay i don't know if i'm shouting all right now what you're going to do is come over to this design like i said this is not my work i got it for to show example on this tutorial all right now basically this is a design a flyer now this is a phone now if i want to apply a light flay to this axis to this particular spot look at your screen stop looking at me now come over to your light flays all right i think i can come over here now let me explain this is a flyer that has a blue background do you understand so i would like to go with something that looks blue to apply to my design all right now you can still search more go ahead and search more and um i can go with this note i love using light flays that has black background it is always easy to remove right now and i'm not saying other ones are not easy from my own point of view right your own point of view is also correct now i'm going to go with this light flay all you need to do is just come over to this three dot 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 if it's taking your time just right click and select copy image i don't download so it has come up so you can just click on download image so once you download image it will take you straight to your computer right now i'm going to paste it since we copied now look at this light for uh, ah i've joined you guys look at this light flea right it's a blue light flea now if you're applying a light flea you see these four corner points always make sure to use your transparency to fade it out somebody will ask me why am i fading it out i'm fading it out because if you don't fade it out sometimes after applying it you will see some white line a very tiny white line on that on on the edges which is not good for your work sometimes when you you might not see it when you export you will see it when you print you will see it you understand now what you're going to do is um select the transparency tool fed out this edge go to your bitmap and select convert to bitmap somebody will ask me why am i converting to bitmap reason because in Corel draw see some of you will go and eat and forget the things i have taught you though for the sake of those joining us for the first time 
I will explain this part. Pay attention. Now, you see this bitmap. The reason why I'm bitmapping this is because if you don't bitmap, right, you cannot fade out multiple edges or you cannot um, carry out multiple tags. For instance, I'll fade out this place without bitmapping and I want to fade out this place. If I fade out here, this place will pop up. All right. So all you need to do is go to bitmap, convert to bitmap. You can choose your column mode as RGB, resolution 300. Click on OK. Fade out this edge also. Don't go and fade out your light flame. Oh. <laughs> your light flame. <laughs> so fade out and um, bitmap. Then fade out this way too. And you can bitmap because it's the last one. Now, what you're going to do is still on your transparency tool. What is the use of a transparency tool? It is used to partially reveal or hide. Am I talking to somebody? See, pastor, preach. <laughs> I'm preaching. I'm preaching today. Now. So go to your mage mode on your property bar and select your mage mode. Under your mage mode, locate screen. It is not screen mode. It is screen. 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 Now come to your screen. And you see, boom. This is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. This is what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? This is what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? This is what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So you can see, I applied this curvy light flay on this design, right? You can see how beautiful that works. A lot of you say, ah, light flay, it is used, people in Nigeria like using light flay to, you know, beautify their work. These people don't have, let me not say it, sense. But the fact is, anything that works, use it now people are complaining about ai um people that use ai are not creative they are hey, hey, hey. use things that make your work easy stop stressing your life this life is too simple you will die through it oh i'm telling people anyway if you want to still listen to me i'm done teaching you guys at least you've learned how to download light flame your light flame in current draw sorry in <laughs> your light flame how to get your light flay and how to apply it. I thought you two things in this tutorial. It's supposed to be two videos. How to get light flay and how to apply light flay. But I gave you guys combo package. Anyway, for those of you who are joining me for the first time, my name is Jim. This thing will give me heart attack. For those of you joining me for the f this thing, to give somebody heart attack. The night to do few, few. So, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, my name is Jim. Welcome to the team. I think by this time next week we should be hitting 40,000 followers. As I talk on the brain light. So I'm a man of man of what are done. <laughs> Anyways, guys, you're welcome. I appreciate every single every single viewer, every single subscriber. You guys are top notch. I appreciate you. So this is how to get it, this is how to apply light flea. So you can actually do it on multiple different designs, you know, get your design looking pop, pop. You know what I'm saying? So you can go and eat your bar and forget what I teach you today. See you guys in my next video. Peace.